Well, Happy good Monday. after <laughs> evening Monday thingy. Yes. We've had a uh, quite productive Columbus Day. Oh, we have. Yes. Man, we're getting ready to eat dinner now. We're getting ready to get our Monday grub afternoon. on. We wanted to show you what has we kind of stuff we've been eating to keep keto and help us lose some weight yes, while yes. we've been on the road. Well, you've kind of seen what we've eaten in the past, but... Yeah. Yeah, Jason cooked us up one of our Wagyu steaks. We still have a few left from that big tenderloin we got, but... Oh, my gosh. We got that to share. Yep. And then I made a keto broccoli salad, which I did film making this. It may have already gone up before this vlog or after. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I never we'll know see. when they're going out. I just film them. <laughs> I just film them. But, yeah, that's what we're going to have for dinner. And... Uh, I can't wait. We deliver mm. our load tomorrow morning. Yes. We will find out if we get that next load to pick up tomorrow or if we're going to have to wait till Wednesday. Yeah. We don't mind if we have to wait till Wednesday because, just because. Yeah, it just gives <laughs> us time to do things we want to do. Yeah, we got a couple of videos that we want to try to film and, mm -hmm. oh, these these they guys, smell the wagyu. These guys think they're getting some wagyu. They do. They haven't had their dinner oh, yet. Oh my gosh, oh, here they go. Good day. Good day. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they haven't had their dinner yet, so no, they're not like yet. Not yet. smelling the good food. Yeah. But yeah, we're just going to have dinner and relax for the rest of the night. We have to get up uh, not too early to deliver this. Mm, 7 o'clock. Yeah. But not bad. we've been sleeping in until 10 every day no, while we've been nice. waiting to deliver. So, well, last night I stayed up. You fell asleep before me, but I was watching Gatsby, and uh, I think it didn't get over till like 2 in the morning. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Yeah, they're going crazy over there. Of course, they stop as soon as Now the camera. Ah. Oh, he ain't oh, done. Are you getting sissy? He ain't done. Oh, sissy. He just barks at her. <laughs> she just ignores him. She's like, I want some of that steak. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, yeah, both. so that's how our Monday has gone. Monday. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. Yep. Let you know what happens if we're picking up the new next load tomorrow or the next day. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Happy hump day. We forgot about Tuesday. We did, but we didn't get to pick up yesterday. So we, did it. we figured yeah. we'd just do our clip and today. I slept once all we day. Got... Yeah, he did almost I, all I day. Did, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. yeah we were I, tired. I was. I, I don't think, know why, because we sat all weekend. I think his issue is he's going through the keto flu right now. I got the keto flu, yeah. Yeah, from eating low carb. Low That's carb. A, a thing. And yeah, that is a thing. I, <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, it's been like three weeks. I'm like, oh, I'm safe. Yeah, I'm good. I ain't going to get the flu, the, the, the keto flu. Sure enough. <laughs> Yeah. Man, it was rough. It, yeah. it, I'm feeling a little bit better. I, it just made me feel like nauseous and tired, tired gassy, and gassy and, and yeah. yeah, 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 all that. Yeah, I think like for me, like it, I get headaches. Yeah. So, like like sugar withdrawals. Yeah, yeah. 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 So right. I've I my headaches have subsided, but I was having about a week or so ago. I was having a headache every day. I'd wake up with a headache, which is. Pro also a symptom of keto flu when you there's a switch. bunch of symptoms out there everybody's yeah. different of how you react to it so yeah some people don't have it at all some people have it for a about, week some people have it for a day i was about to give up yesterday i won't let you yeah i was about to give i was about to i was about to go inside this truck stop and go <laughs> get a go pizza. buy me a pizza or a <laughs> burger i was or, like nope you're yeah, not doing I was, it I was like, yeah, no, he's I'm talking not. about quitting the bangs too yeah, I think the carbonation in them. I mean, it's... I like water, so I don't know why I don't drink that. I've been talking about this for years. Yeah. But it's hard. You it know, like, hard. we all have our vices, you know? Mine's that coffee. Yeah, coffee. <laughs> you know, I mean, it, it, that's not as bad as energy drinks, but... My biggest thing that's, <laughs> that's been the hardest for me on my low-carb journey is chips. Yeah. I love... To, not so much sweets. I, I mean, I like sweets, but that's not my issue. My issue is chips. I have the hardest i had the hardest time yeah, yeah getting out of eating chips for for those of you who don't follow me on uh instagram 
Follow have, him at Blue Collar Nomad. Yeah, I have my own Instagram. She has the Crafty Trucker. I'm Blue Collar Nomad. Um, I posted a picture. I, I weighed myself this week, and I'm down to 299.9 pounds. That is so awesome. I thought I, I, I was like, how long has it been since you've been under 300 pounds? Yeah, I've a been long time. 320, 310, 320. I've always fluctuated yeah. around. I think at your highest, so, you were at almost 330. Yeah. So yeah. that's awesome. Yeah, I'm down 12 pounds in like three weeks. Yes. So that's... Uh, I'm pretty excited. I was about to give up yesterday because of that. that I flu, won't so. let him now. I'm, no, no, I'm pretty committed now. I'm pretty committed. And I've never been this committed. Like we would do a week and then I'm like, oh, we've done so good. I'm going to have one taco. And then I turn it into like five tacos. Yeah. And, you know, it's, yeah. but this, yeah, I'm, I'm in it now. In it to I, win I, it. I think the biggest thing now is it doesn't take as much to fill me up. Yeah. I think you said that. That's, that's, yeah. 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 Have I said that? Did I ever say I it? think we, you might have said it, but that's okay. We're so scatterbrained sometimes. We repeat <laughs> no. ourselves. We're so boring. Yeah. We have such a boring life. Right? Yeah. No, yeah. we love our life. We love our life. But uh, well, let's tell them about the load. So <laughs> we picked up here in North Dakota, and yep. we are going to Texas. Awesome. It's a little over 1,400 miles, almost 1,500 miles. We have 12 pieces at 3,900 pounds. Yeah. So we pick up, We it's, geez, it's 12.30 now. I don't know if we'll be able to deliver tomorrow. We may have to deliver first thing Friday morning. Yep. Just because the place we're delivering to, they're receiving. I think their receiving is only open until like 1 o'clock. Yeah. So I yeah. don't think we'll right, quite make that. Yeah. We'll give it a shot. We'll give it we're a shot. We're not going to bump it up. No. You know, we don't no, have I any like my 63. Yeah, we don't have any 12 issue. miles a gallon. Oh, my gosh. I know. Doing back, going back to 62, 63. Oh, I say 62. We do 62. 63 really yeah. average we've had high 11s we have one fuel up that was 12.8 yeah i mean we've had some really good. big ones and running 70 we're down in the nines yeah which isn't terrible but it's I, not terrible, i prefer a high 11 yeah well. yeah yeah especially as fuel's pretty cheap right now yeah, it's still fuel cheap. ever goes back to five dollars i will never drive 70. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> now now wherever i <clears throat> i'm i'm taking over right now and yep. i'll be doing our <clears throat> first fuel up um, I filled us up at the Petro and Fargo <clears throat> on the way up to where we were delivering and I don't know where we're going to fuel, but our fuel mileage, when I fill up this first time, probably won't be that good just no. because we've been running the generator running all weekend. Running the generator all weekend. So and yeah, that, that usually that eats up. Gives, that season, hits, your, hits your fuel mileage. Yeah. I know we a lot of people have been asking like uh, what how we operate our hours and when we do our driver swaps. And we've talked about it in videos before, so a lot of... Uh, older folks will uh, know but for the newer people who you know we we do a swap at around noon now that's not set in stone sometimes we'll i mean just last week i was super tired pulled over early didn't finish my shift and she started at like nine o'clock in the morning so and and the way we do our shifts we do a 12 hour shift each yeah 11 of that can be drive time drive time we only are allowed 11 hours of drive time so his shift is usually from midnight to noon and yep. i'm noon to midnight and it used to be the other way around yeah but it was like it was hard on her yeah you know because she was ne she couldn't really get really good sleep that it that was really more and... hard on you because a lot of the places we deliver and pick up at we both have to be up so yeah. he would and, and at that time we were switching around three in the afternoon to, and three yeah, in the morning three in the morning so, then i'd have to get up at seven to go in and do the delivery and it was rough right and the majority of agents <laughs> and when when they call they call you know in the morning mid-afternoon so yeah. he was always asleep and he's the one who usually talks to agents. I've gotten in more into doing it now. Now that she's doing this shift. Yeah. Yeah, because a lot of times, like, I laid down at 9 o'clock uh, last week at one point, uh -huh. and I slept all day, you know. So, yeah, when it... Oh, and somebody recommended uh, using Google Voice as... Oh, we just got... To, we were talking were about hours. Like, I'm like, I, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, okay. yeah, all right. that's no, no, we, no. We, The reason we do our shifts that way is so that each... Both yeah. of us get a little bit of daytime driving and a little bit of nighttime. A little bit, because, yeah, if you try to do all night, all the time, it, it's, That's a, rough. it's rough. It it's is rough. rough. You don't get to see nothing. You're, it's rough. It's all you're looking at is headlights all night yeah. you know so but there's a lot of couples that do do that like the husband will drive during the day the wife there drives are. at night or vice versa yeah. i mean it's you just gotta get into a system that works for you i mean we're always changing it up like i said yeah. when we started we did it one way we've probably changed it three or four times 
in the eight years we yeah. this is nothing well, set in stone no 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 yeah, no yeah, never because yeah. i mean it's you have to do what you have to do to get get the job done yeah, and sometimes absolutely. one doesn't get sleep and the other has to take over early and yeah. you know and, one fuels all the time and yeah, the other yeah. <laughs> no. so the, real quick real quick to break down the 12 hour shift is uh it's 11 hours driving one 30 minute break and two 15 minute breaks gives you a 12 hour shift mm -hmm. so um that's kind of how we do that mm -hmm. Um, and then the person who gave us a shout out about the phone call situation we were having last year, we got a bunch of really good recommendations. Yes, thank you to everybody who yeah, gave yeah, us a yeah. call, forwarding your number to my number, which I didn't even think about yeah. that. And don't take it's, us wrong, we don't hate Landstar or nothing because oh, no, no, of no, it. No, we not love, at all. <laughs> we, we were just venting. We yeah, were tired yeah, that yeah, night. We were tired. But regardless, irregardless if we were tired and crabby or not, we want yeah. to share those kind of things. We, we do. don't. We, we want do. to share the rough times and the good times. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. the majority we have yeah. good times, but we do have issues and challenges. Yeah. We don't want y'all thinking that you're going to come out here and not have any issues because yeah. you will. You will. <laughs> but yes, so, thank you to everybody. Yeah, oh, everybody you, made good recommendations, but somebody Google. suggested Google Voice. And and said that you, if we could get the one number to ring to both phones. So we've been playing around with that this weekend. I downloaded it on my phone, her phone. We got a number. I went through all the settings to set it up so it rings on both phones. So if somebody calls this Google Voice number, it will ring on my phone and her phone. So it gives us both an option to be able to answer it. Mm -hmm. And so when I lay down, I can shut my ringer off and it will still ring to her phone and she can answer those calls. So mm -hmm. we're playing with it right now. We haven't called up Landstar or yeah, nothing yet. Yeah, we want to make sure that it's... Yeah, we, before we go changing yeah, the number, yeah, we, don't we don't get any calls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> One concern I may have is uh, I know a lot, a lot of the dedicated agents that we work with mostly, they may have our numbers saved in a contact. So they just go to their contacts and or who knows we may have somebody that has us on speed dial maybe <laughs> no um but it so i'll have to make a, a lot of calls to those guys and make sure that they have the new number mm -hmm. before we change it yeah. but i think that might be an option i'm, yeah. I'm playing with it okay. i'm making sure we're not getting junk calls to it um and it we, we've only had it a couple of days so yeah. i may give it like a month yeah to see to see if we, if it's just a bunch of junk calls of that number or something. If I have to change it, I will. Yeah. But it seems like that might be a good option. I think so. A couple of people had commented too. is like, why do you even leave your phone on when I go to bed? I... And he usually does turn his ringer off. But if he's super tired, sometimes he just forgets. Yeah, I do forget sometimes um, to shut it off. Yeah. There are a few people, though, you have on, like, I don't know if some of you Emergency know, bypass. Yeah, you can do an emergency bypass. Like, he has me on that. So yeah. even if his phone is on silent, silent. if I call call it will ring it will ring yeah so yeah, i don't so. know if you have agents on that but i do uh i do but with that new number i'll be able to shut that off yeah. you know yeah because i've left agents on because i don't want to miss calls but most right. of the time i just sleep through it but <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> if i'm that tired i ain't answering i ain't hearing nothing no. she hears it but she can't stop and grab yeah. my phone there and oh my gosh, you guys, it was, it's been cold up here in North 31. Dakota. Uh, this morning, the temp it said the temperature was 36, felt like 20, or no, 30 something felt like 26 because it's been so windy. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's yeah, been cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No it's snow, cold. No just snow. cold and windy. A little windy. bit of rain, a little bit of rain. A little bit of rain last night, yeah. yeah. Oh. But mm, anyway. Anyway. I guess we'll I think that's ramble all we got in and get on the road. Like 10 minutes and minutes of ramble on. I know. I know. I'm ready to start my shift. I got some good sleep last night. Oh, yeah. Ready to go. I, I stayed up till like 6.30 in the morning and woke up at 8. So I got an hour and a half sleep. So you should be able to sleep So I'll good. be sleeping pretty yeah. good today. So. I'm ready to go to Tejas where <laughs> the weather's warmer. Yep. And we're only going to be there for the weekend, I think. But unless we, we get a load out. Done. Yeah. Unless we get a load out over the weekend. So yeah. we'll uh, see. All right. All right. Cool. Let's Peace. go. Boom. No, yeah, Thursday. Thursday. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Days are running together. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, we have had a change. A change of plans. Yeah. They accidentally put two extra pallets on this shipment. 
that we're supposed to go somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. we got two loads yeah. out of it. Yeah, we did. So instead of going to Texas now first, we're going to Georgia, then to Texas. Then to Texas, <laughs> which works out. We yeah. make more money and and we still get to Texas. Yeah. yeah. They called us, which they, <clears throat> the total pieces was on the right on the BOL. Yeah. But they had it all go into Texas, and evidently somebody there messed up, and two of them were supposed to go to Georgia. Yeah. So, yeah. So now we're heading to Georgia and then to Texas. Yeah. Which it should work out because <clears throat> we'll deliver in Georgia in the morning. And then Texas, the location in Texas said they would offload us Saturday. So, yeah, yeah. yay. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's just, just stuff that happens. Yeah. No, no big no, deal. No big, hey, more money for us. That's right. Yeah. yeah that's, that's, that's the fun part. <laughs> yeah, what is it? Like 10 o'clock? Say it's 10 o'clock and I'm all out of hours. I got 29 yeah. minutes left on my drive time. So. Yeah, he took over last night right after his 10 hour break. Yeah. Um, it was like 10 30. Yeah. How, yeah. So, how'd you do last night? Pretty good. Yeah. Yep. I got some good sleep. It was hot back there. I know I pulled over a couple times to take go to <laughs> use the restroom real quick and she had the heater roasted. Well, that's because I had the window cracked too. Yeah, hey, you had it roasting back there. Well, it was, I was like, heat wave as soon as I open the curtain but with the window open it gets that cool air so it doesn't maybe right there in your face yeah but it does yeah the rest of the sleeper no it was, it was <laughs> but hot. I like it warmer than he does it was, so attention. what do we got going on oh two important messages we are in where are we oh we just got into Illinois yeah and I'm taking over now yeah so this, oh goodness sakes Sorry about that. Sorry, important phone call. Very important phone call from <laughs> Mr. Patrick Lee of yes, Highfield Trucking. Yes, yeah. Always always nice to talk to him. Yeah. But yes, I'm taking over your laying down. Yeah. Get this show Where on we? the road. Where were we? I don't even remember. I don't remember either. <laughs> it's been like 15 minutes. Yeah, we've been uh, on the phone. Oh, for we like were talking 15. about how the loads changed. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that messed us all up. <laughs> it did. <laughs> <laughs> We're a mess as it is, but that just uh, threw us in a loop. <laughs> it did, it did. So, yeah, I'm going to, let's, let's go ahead and we'll guess we'll talk to you guys later because I'm ready to get on the road. Hit, hit the road. Knock out some miles. Go. <laughs> Man, so we'll catch you guys up. So yesterday, Thursday, we made our delivery in Georgia first thing in the morning. Yep. Headed straight to Texas. It yep. was about 900 miles and gosh, got here late last night, early this morning. Late last night, got delivered. We just got down to Waco. Yeah, came down to Waco. So we're going to spend the weekend at home, do a few things. Heading but... over to Mama Crafty's right now, going to shower, laundry. Do all the things we need to do, all the adulting all that things. Fun stuff. I got a few <laughs> packages, nothing. <laughs> nothing exciting. Nothing too exciting. Just little <laughs> knickknack stuff. Yeah. But man, it's been a good week. Yeah, it's gonna well, be a we've got one run in. Yeah. Technically two, because this turned into kind of a double load. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We let the agent that uh, we usually work with in Texas know we were coming when we first got this load. So we'll see if he can get us something out this next week. We let him know like on Wednesday, though, yeah. and we didn't get nothing yet. So yeah, mm. we'll see. maybe mid-ish next week before we get something. Yeah. We'll see, though. And it long weekend i don't mind yeah <laughs> it's beautiful here in texas oh it's nice weather it's cool uh, it's overcast but cool nice and cool yeah i think it got down in the high 40s low 50s last night yeah i had to turn the uh s bar heater on this <coughs> morning <laughs> it was perfect though because we don't have didn't have to run the generator to keep the engine like too warm but didn't have to run it for the air conditioner and this season right now is when we save the most fuel usually because we're not running that generator a whole bunch. So. Yeah. 
uh, during summertime, it's like as soon as you park, you start that generator. <laughs> Get that air conditioner. <laughs> you're, you're like, you're, you're at the key, and you're like, are you ready to turn it on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Oh my gosh. So yeah, yeah. Spring and fall is. The best, oh, no. the best, the best, the best, the best uh, season, Crack, right? I love cracking a window and watching TV and letting fresh air come in mm. and utilizing our AGM batteries that will last all night long watching. And we could charge our phones, watch our TV, all that stuff, all on the, the batteries we have. So yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's pretty nice. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and end this one here. Yep. Stay tuned to see where we go next week. Yep. <laughs> Thank you guys as always for watching and subscribing. Until our next video. Peace, love, and expedite.